Today I'm going to show you exactly where you need to put your money when you become financially stable. When I was recording the 11th episode of my wealth journey series and gave a net worth update, I realized that my net worth grew $42,863 since the beginning of the year and this was as of August. Do what I'm telling you in this video long enough and you will see your net worth grow to the point where it's paying you more than what some people are making per year take home pay. You need three things. So for starters, you're gonna need a 401k and a Roth IRA, and I paired these two together for a very important reason. These two are the simplest way to grow your wealth with tax advantages. Most of you have a 401k, but a lot of you don't have Roth IRAs yet. So let's talk about why these two are important, and then we'll discuss what to invest in here in a second. So if you're watching this and you're not super familiar, I'm gonna familiarize you with both of them. So if you already know about 401ks, feel free to skip further in the video. But 401ks are baked into most employers' retirement plans, or it'll be a 403b or a thrift savings plan or something like that. But most companies have a match program and they say, hey, if you give us 6% of every paycheck, we'll throw in 50 cents for every dollar you throw in. And that's essentially giving you free money to go towards your investment. And each employer is gonna probably have a different percentage, but that's just an example. But they give that to you just because you met their match. And the beauty behind this is the money that's going into your 401k hasn't been taxed yet. So the money that you're putting in your 401k hasn't been taxed. So you're putting the most amount that you can possibly be putting into your 401k. And then your employer says, hey, if you contribute 6% of your paycheck, I'll throw in 50 cents for every dollar. So now every $100,000 you throw in, they're throwing in $50,000. And then on top of that, whatever you're investing in is going to grow on a consistent basis. And that puts you in a perfect position for your money to multiply over the years. I've had my 401k now for just over five years, and it's already almost hitting the 100k mark. And the crazy thing is, in the beginning, I did not take my 401k seriously, like at all. I really wasn't worried about the match program. And then when I learned about it and I got more mature and I wised up, then I, you know, got into it and everything. But at first, I was like, 401k? Nah. I don't think I ever admitted that on this channel, but just make sure you take your 401k seriously or you could be leaving a lot of money on the table. And this is the last thing I'll say about the 401k. When it comes to the 401k, just remember, it does not get taxed going in, but the money does get taxed going out. So when you retire, you can expect to be taxed. That's when the Roth IRA comes in. And for this account, if you're under 50, you can put up to $7,000 per year in your Roth IRA. If you're over 50, you can do $8,000. But anyway, this is the exact reverse. The money going in has already been taxed. So let's say you get a paycheck, the paycheck's already been taxed, you decided to invest in your Roth IRA, you don't have to worry about getting taxed again because once you retire and you take that money out, it ain't getting about taxed. And this is yet another account that I didn't take as seriously, but well over $100,000 of my net worth is strictly in these two accounts and they're both tax advantaged, which is why this is so important. So now I'm really investing in my Roth IRA a lot heavier because at first I was just kind of put money here and there and there and that's better than nothing but I just didn't take it seriously in this account you can be more intentional about what you invest in as, as in you can actually pick what you invest in you can pick stocks ETFs bonds commodities you can pick between a lot of things real estate and you just have a lot more freedom whereas the 401k is kind of constrained to whatever the company allows you to invest in you can invest in pretty much anything with the Roth IRA and we'll get into specifics and we'll even talk about what I'm invested in within my Roth IRA and all that stuff. But before we do, I just want to let you know, even though these are simple and even boring types of investments, these two are absolute game changers, especially if you have them at the same time. They will grow your wealth way quicker than you think it will. So before we jump into some more specifics, I know you're pretty eager to hear about it, but we'll get to that in just a second, I promise. But first, we're going to talk about the third place you need to put your money when you're financially stable, and that is your individual brokerage account. For me, it's Weeble. You might have even heard me talk about it before. It is my absolute favorite account, and it has grown so, so much, and I just can't wait to invest more and more in it and watch it continue to grow. But it's really as simple as it sounds. It's just an account where you can invest in stocks and ETFs, and that's really all I invest in is stocks and ETFs. But I really like the freedom of having this account in addition to my other two accounts because it just adds another layer of investing 
on top of what you're already investing in. You're not waiting for retirement. You can enjoy it literally right now if you want to. I prefer to invest for the long term and just keep the money in there and keep letting it grow. But if you ever make a massive gain on an investment, you can definitely take some profit and put it into your savings or put it into whatever you want to. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have to worry about no penalties or anything. You'll have capital gains tax just like any other investment, but that's about it. With your 401k, you'll get penalties plus tax. And with your Roth IRA, you can take as much as you put in so far, but you can't take any of the gains from it until you retire. So you're limited. So this adds you a third layer of protection. And that third layer of protection can look like an extra $30,000 of your net worth. So what do I invest in once I have these three accounts? Well, your 401k is pretty much set up for you. I don't really gotta tell you about that, but the Roth IRA and the individual brokerage account, I would say this and I would say this very calmly because it's, it's very true. Look no further than ETFs. If you don't know what ETFs are, that's fine. You don't need any experience or anything like that. They're called exchange traded funds. I made an entire video about that. I want you to go watch that video right after this video. It's called how to build wealth once you are financially stable. But ETFs is the simplest way to build wealth with as little downside as possible, and a ton of upside and very good return on your investments over a historic period. I'm not just making stuff up and saying things that sound good. These are just what work. And of course, stocks. And I'll tell you everything I'm invested in, BOO, VTI, Google, Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA. Like over my Roth IRA and over my individual brokerage account, that is my entire investment portfolio. And they're spread across both of them. In my net worth updates and in my wealth journey videos in general, I share my portfolios with you if you wanna check those out. But you know what else I have? Within that video, I just talked to you about the how to build wealth once you are financially stable. In that video, I give you access to a free list of 25 plus high quality stocks and ETFs. And it actually comes out to like 33. But that's also in the link of this description. I want you to click below and download it. You will not regret it. If you like this video, I need two favors from you. For one, I want you to put fire emojis all up in the comments. Two, I need you to do this. If you're getting value from this, click the link in the description called $100,000 Action Plan. It's an action plan made specifically for you to go from start to finish from zero to $100,000 in net worth. It's a real treat for you down in the description. Anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. I hope you got value from this video, and I will see you in the next one.